So if you've got a slow leak in your tire like I do here, well today's the day to fix it, but the fix is going to be a little bit different than you might have expected, so keep watching and I'll show you how to do it. Fixing a slow leak in a tire is a little bit like a mystery. You probably lived with it for a while, so it's going to take a little bit to figure it out, but it's quicker than you think. So one time saving tip is jack your machine up and you want to do this because it usually will help you avoid taking the tire off the machine and now you can work with the tire in the air and rotate it freely. Next thing I'm doing here is I'm going to inflate the tire. Now I don't want to go past the maximum tire pressure but I do want to inflate it so that I can start to look at the tire. So right away I'm using this brush just to clean off some of this dust and I'm doing a visual inspection on the tire. I'm just looking for anything obvious. If there's a screw or a nail that's showing, then that makes it a little bit easier. But I'm not really finding that so far. I'm just finding some small cuts, but they don't go all the way on the tire. So now here's an easy thing to do. We want to check for leaks a little bit further. So I'm going to take some dishwashing detergent, which I've got here. I'm just using this cup with a little bit of water. Now the proportions don't really matter. You just want soapy water. Now I find that this paintbrush works pretty well for me and what I'm doing is I'm painting the soapy water on the tire and what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for something that's going to hiss or bubble like crazy. Now the suds you see in here are just from me brushing it on but so far I'm not really seeing anything. And I'm speeding this up as I go around but I'm brushing that soapy solution on the all over the face of the tire and I'm also going to now put it on the side. But the problem is I'm not seeing anything hissing at all. Now this is what can happen with tires. Sometimes you're going to luck out and they'll just be a nail, but the slow leak is really the point of this video. I wanted to show you how to look for those leaks with the soapy water first because that's usually a good place to start. But if you don't find it, now what do you do? Do you change the tire? And that can be a big deal. So I'm going to show you this step and kind of the trick that a lot of people don't even realize it's there. Now you don't have to do what I'm doing here. This is just so that I can give you a better shot of what I'm working on. But this is the part of the video you want to pay attention to because a lot of people get slow leaks and they can't figure it out. This is where a lot of leaks come from and people are never able to figure it out and they end up changing out their tire. Now you're looking at a weird little tool right there but I'm going to zoom in to give you a better explanation of what I'm doing. So that's called your valve stem and you've got one on every tire but that little tool is what's going to be a little bit different for you to understand what might be causing your leak. So let's do a close up and zoom in. That little black cap most people know should be there to keep the air in, but that's really not what its job is. That really doesn't keep the air in your tire. The inside of that valve stem is what we're after, and you need a special tool like this. They're super cheap, but you've got to have a tool because it's got that little tiny slot. Now the other sides of this tool have different functions, but the slotted side is what we're interested in. We're going to remove the inside of this valve, and it's actually easier than you think. So a lot of times when you're a kid, you might have remembered that if you push in the center of that, that the air is going to come out. So I'm using one end of this tool to let most of the air out of the tire. And the only reason I'm doing this is for general safety, because you really don't want to do this when the tire has full pressure, because that little valve stem can shoot out at you. Once the pressure is out of your tire, you can go ahead and use either of the tools. Now the first one I showed you is one version, and this is another kind. This is more like a screwdriver, but again, it's that slotted end. Don't use a regular screwdriver or something else because you'll ruin it. And you can see that this tool goes right in there and it mates with the valve stem and now I can unscrew it. So watch closely there. Most people don't even realize that there's a little stem in here and this is the part that actually seals the air in. The black part you see below with the threaded bit, that's called the valve stem. But what you're looking at here is called the core. And the core is what actually keeps the air in the tire. So when you have a situation that you can't figure out where the leak is, most of the time it's going to be this. Because this is really what keeps the air in your tire. So the good news is these are very standard. You can get them very inexpensively. I'll put some links below. And it's easy to change them. And you can just do it in a few seconds. And if you're dealing with an old wheel, these aren't a bad thing to change out once in a while. Because if you've got a lawnmower or a tractor or a wheelbarrow, these could sit in there for 20 years. And here all I'm showing you is once you put your replacement one in, how easy it is to put them in. You just slide them in and then use this special tool. It fits right on top and all you're going to do is thread this down. 
Now you're not gonna make this super tight, you're just gonna make it snug, and you'll see that when I hit the bottom, the valve stem will move a little bit, and you just wanna have it pretty snug, not over tightened. So now we're back to the wheel in question. So what I'm doing here, now that you've seen the close-up, is I'm replacing that core. So I'm gonna pull it out, I'm gonna put a new one in, and then I'm gonna snug it up like I showed you earlier. With my new valve core inserted in, I'm just going to tighten it up with this small tool and I'll snug it in place and we should be ready to put air back in the tire. Now here I'm just remounting the tire back on the machine. Final step is here, I'm just going to repressurize the tires, make sure they're looking good. And finally I'm going to put that little black cap back on the valve stem. But now that you've watched this video, you realize that cap's not keeping the air in, it's just keeping the dirt and water out of the valve core, and now you know how to change one on your own, and it's really handy to be able to do, and hopefully solve your slow leak problem. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thanks for watching.